Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here right on time because it's Friday. Time for another episode of Friday's Finds. I've missed a couple of weeks because chaos came to call. Got a fun Friday's Finds for us this week. A fun Friday's Finds for us <laughs> this week. Two sponsors for this episode. And, and on this episode of Friday's Finds, we're going to be focusing on the RV patio. So our two sponsors for today are Olney. These are cool. Olney Lights and Mikapa. This is, this is a neat package. We're going to start with Olney because it's the smaller one and we can, we're, we're, this is going to be this this is gonna require some editing because all right every time I'm camping and Yappy's with me, we see people putting out string lights around their campsite, and she's like, "Dude, we well, I want lights around. That's more work <laughs> and more stuff." But I was intrigued because if if I'm gonna do lights, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm probably gonna do a little little different than norm. I don't want just string lights. If, if I'm going to make my wife happy, i got to put out the lights. But I don't have to put out just any old Christmas light. So when only when they reached out to me, I said, oh, yeah, that'll make Yappy happy right there. Check this out. These... They're actually remote control. And look how small they are. So that's actually the, the light. And after when it gets dark, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna string these up after dark and we're gonna take a look at, at how cool they are. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll, we'll be coming back to this. So I'm gonna cut to that right now. All right, so the only, only lights, the Oilini string lights, Christmas, whatever you want to call them, the Oilini lights, come with a remote. And that remote gives you uh, a timer, and then there's different patterns. So when it gets dark, we're going to play with these and see exactly what they, they look like. See you after dark. So the sun has set, and we're checking out these really cool holiday lights. Now what really, really amazed me is that that little, that little spool of lights, there's 360 feet of lights. <laughs> That's a lot of lights. So I'm going to go through the, the preset parameters. Now this, this is the uh, flashing going through all of the different modes. So I'm just going to uh, go down the, the menu here. You can't see it. I'm going to go down this menu. And I'm going to press each one of these buttons. And we're going to check out the different light patterns. So this is number one. Here we go. Number one. It's just a static light. Number two. Pretty cool, kind of escalates. Number three. Woo, that one speeds up a little bit. Number four. So 
it, that just kind of gives you a headache. Number five. Just a little bit of twinkling. Seven. Eight. Doesn't look much different. Kind of cool. I don't know if you're seeing it. And we're back to where we started. Yappy really likes these lights. We need to leave them up like that all the time. check in in the morning now we go to our next sponsor so the next sponsor and, and this is this one really got me excited because I cannot tell you how many times I've had this this issue and that is I get a great campsite and it's pointed west or it's pointed east and as the Sun moves across the sky the shade from my awning moves so you got to be strategic about where you put your chair because in the afternoon when the sun is setting you have no shade me cuppa has got us covered this this is very very nicely packaged it's in a case and this is an end shade screen for the awning. And I have, I have Trudy Thunder out front. So here shortly, we're going to go, we're going to go hang this on the awning and see how it works. But it comes with a, an installation kit. We got a couple of stakes. We have tarp bungees love these things we have a, a couple of hooks we'll have to explore how we, we're gonna hang our our awning I personally I'm not real excited about the putting screws in the side of my motorhome well, well I bet there's a way I can use these and hang it on the end of the awning so let's go out front and check it out. I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination. You gotta imagine that we're camped out at a beautiful campsite in a state park. And we've got a fantastic view of trees and water. <laughs> use your imagination. 
but it, while you're using your imagination, we're backed into a campsite. There's the park, the campground road right there. And it just happens to face west, which is actually over there. Uh, and when the sun sets, it's going to be shining right here on our patio. So we're going to see, we're going to solve that problem right now. We got to hang up there and up there and down here. So I'll let you watch me scramble up the ladder and figure this out. Because I have an armless awning, and, and what that means, if, if you don't know, if, if you're new to the RV life, I don't have arms, struts coming down to the, bot, the side of the coach. The arms tuck in up there, which the, real, the only real advantage to that is the cosmetic appeal of not having the arms on the side. Um, I would prefer having arms because this one is subject to uplift when the wind catches it. All right, let's, let's go up here and just watch me do my thing right there. The awning has a top and a bottom. The top, you'll notice, is angled. There's not any real instructions for hanging this, so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna get up there and do it. So at this point, if I were on a campsite, I'd drive in a, a stake here and a stake for that corner. Yeah, it's just the perfect width to it. Come, these come in multiple sizes. But yeah, that's, that's gonna be a good addition to the RV kit. You never know. All right.
And there we have it. Yeah, that gives us really nice. I was worried that it might put a little too much pressure, but yeah, that's good. It'll work great. Simple solution, well worth the investment. I'm very pleased with this screen cap for the end of my awning and I know you will be too. That's gonna make a huge difference when we're pointed east or west. I could, I could hang that on the back too. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. A little whimsical, I want to give a special thanks to our channel, our, our video sponsors today. Olenny Lights, light up the joy of life. I failed to mention there's, with these lights, there's no overheating. That means you can grab them. Yappy really thought they were cool. And I'd like to also thank Mikapa, the awning shade the awning end shade fantastic investment great addition to your rv patio kit it's one of those things that when you need it you need it and when you when you need it you really want it otherwise you're having to go find shade somewhere else i really like that thank you guys for sponsoring this video Links for those two products will be in the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Amazon page. Link is in the description below and in the card above. Give them some clicks, show them some love. I know they'd appreciate that. If you've not already, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, Thank you. I really, I'm, I'm, I, I really appreciate that. It, it, it means a lot to me. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?